is our Mother's Day pick, which isn't that much of a Mother's Day pick. You, your mom saw it. Yeah, I, I saw it. My mom saw it too. And, you know, sometimes people think I'm a little too harsh. But, yeah, my mom <laughs> wasn't that crazy about it either. So Mama Meyer doesn't like it. Mama Meyer does not like it. Okay, so, why yeah. not? Uh, it's a movie that uh, I think just it's the talent involved. When you have Amy Schumer and Goldie Hawn in the movie, here they play a mother and daughter. They're at each other's throats, but they decide to go on vacation together to South America. Uh, but they end up getting kidnapped and hijinks ensue. I mean, these are two incredibly talented people. You have Amy Schumer who, uh, you know, had her highly successful 2015 movie Trainwreck. It was, uh, you know, hilarious as well. This is her follow-up, uh, and so she's kind of, you know, really at the top of her game right now. So you think that she would do great here. And Goldie Hawn, who is a, a national treasure as far as I'm concerned, uh, she hasn't been in a movie in 15 years, and uh, it's great to see her back on screen. But the movie just isn't that good. I think that Amy Schumer is playing a version of the character she played in Trainwreck, only one that's less endearing and less charming. And Goldie Hawn has just given nothing really to do in this movie. It's like, you know, you got this colossal talent. It's like having Peyton Manning on your football team. You tell him, you can just hand the ball off the whole time. Don't pass it all. That's kind of what they do with Goldie oh, Hawn. Man. She just has to take a back <laughs> seat. So it's not awful. I think there's some good supporting turns in this movie. Joan Cusack is funny. There's some good physical humor, too. But like I said, you just when you have this talent, you just expect it to be so much better. So I would say two out of four stars for me. Okay, and did Mama Meyer give this a rating? She didn't give it a rating, but, yeah, she said it was disappointing. So. You said disappointing, and she gives all Hallmark movies four stars. <laughs> yes, you said. I said <laughs> okay, great. The next one is The Wall. The Wall. This is a psychological thriller about two American soldiers who uh, fight to survive after they're pinned behind a crumbling wall in Iraq by a deadly sniper. This movie uh, stars recent Golden Globe winner Aaron Taylor Johnson and 16-time WWE World Champion John Cena. Uh, yeah, it's directed, it's, directed by, <laughs> it's directed by Doug Lyman, who brought us Edge of Tomorrow and The Born Identity, guy who obviously knows how to make action movies. This is a much smaller scale movie. This has three characters and one location for the entire movie, so it's a technical challenge kind of movie. I get excited by these to see how can you make drama and keep a movie compelling for 90 minutes with those limitations or those constraints. And uh, he rises to the challenge. This movie uh, really keeps you on the edge of your seat for the entire time. I think he does a great job at creating suspense, laying everything out to where you feel like you're this character trying to escape and survive. So it's because it works so well as a suspense movie that I can forgive some of the contrivances, the poorly developed characters. You know, you gotta ask yourself. There it is. You gotta, yeah, <laughs> you gotta ask yourself, what do you expect out of this movie, you know, and I wanted a movie that took my mind off everything else for 90 right. minutes and uh, absolutely succeeded at that. So, I and say, honestly, what is yeah. John Cena not in now? Yeah, he's in, he was in train wreck, he's in everything. So, and he's really believable in this movie, he's no Lawrence Olivier. So, it's but, a real acting performance from John Cena. Uh, he, 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 yeah, he's believable, I'll say that. So, okay. uh, yeah, I'd say three out of four stars. Okay, great. And the next one is Franz, which is a indie black and white French film, which you said has kids rushing to the box Yeah, office. I mean, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy 2, look out. I mean, uh, no, this is, uh, all kidding aside, this is a, uh, a movie that actually is pretty thrilling. It's a movie about a young woman who um, is grieving over the death of her fiancé. He just passed away during World War II, and she shows up at his grave every day, but then a mysterious French man starts showing up there, and he kind of upends her life in unexpected ways. This is a romantic melodrama, but also it's very twisty. You're really not sure sure how this thing's going to end up and there's lots of surprises throughout um, you know it, the star of the movie is a newcomer I think it's her first movie and she's tremendous in this movie the black and white photography is actually stunning and there's some Wizard of Oz moments too Looks where it great. fades into color and it's actually really pretty there as well um, I think it's a movie that has a lot to say about xenophobia about the lies we tell ourselves in order to uh, you know to live our lives I think it's a really strong movie I'd say 3.5 so so that's the best rating today absolutely at yeah. least best rating in a little while yeah in a little i know it's we've had some duds lately so right well glad we had a good one will thanks yeah. so much for coming on thanks as always me. with your mother's day picks and also always updating us on facebook yes sir great well we look forward to seeing more of that thanks will thank you i think we'll send things out now on the weather porch for that mother's day